Hi guys, this video is going to be on the nitrogen cycle and this makes up part of the module on ecosystems and sustainability for unit 5. Um, okay, so on this diagram I have this uh, animal which represents organic nitrogen in animals, um, a plant which represents organic nitrogen in plants and a legume which represents organic nitrogen in leguminous plants. Now what leguminous plants are, are anything like beans or peas, um, anything from that family. So I'm going to start with the death phase and this is when these three organisms are going to die and they'll release organic nitrogen into the soil. Now what will happen is that decomposers um, or deaminators such as fungi and bacteria, and the bacteria will be saprobiontic bacteria. These will secrete enzymes onto the dead bodies, um, and they'll hydrolyze the nitrogen-containing crops into amino acids and proteins, and their waste will be ammonium. So they'll produce ammonium by decomposing the dead bodies. Now, as you know, animals also produce urea and faeces in excrement. Now, this urea and faeces can also be broken down by the same saprobiontic bacteria, so that's the decomposers or deaminators, into ammonium. And these two processes here are called deamination, putrefaction, decomposition, so anything like that. And... The next thing that happens in the nitrogen cycle is that this ammonium needs to be broken down to nitrates. And ammonium and nitrates can both be used by plants for producing proteins, producing amino acids, so for growth. Um, and the ammonium needs to be converted to nitrates because some plants can only use nitrates. And the way this is done is by two bacteria. And these bacteria um, are known as nitrifying bacteria. And first of all, you have ammonium to an intermediate compound, which is a nitrite. And this process occurs through the use of the bacteria nitrosominus. Now, nitrosominus works in aerobic conditions, so it needs aerated soil such as ploughed fields. And this reaction here is an oxidation reaction, so ammonia is being oxidised to nitrates. Then the next bacteria used is nitrobacter, and nitrobacter are also aerobic, and they convert nitrates to nitrites to nitrates. And this again is an oxidation reaction, and again aerobic. So now what happens is the nitrates are converted back to the nitrogen in the air and this is done by denitrification and the bacteria used here are pseudomonas and they are anaerobic and the reason why they're anaerobic is because their respiratory substrate is not oxygen but it's the nitrates so the nitrates will be converted back to nitrogen gas in the process of denitrification now you also need to know the next main part of the nitrogen cycle and that's nitrogen fixation and in nitrogen fixation this can occur in many ways so the first way is talking back to the leguminous plants and they have bacteria that live in a mutualistic symbiotic relationship with them and what happens here is the bacteria are anaerobic and they'll live in the root nodules of the leguminous plants. So what the plant does is it produces a pigment called leghemoglobin, it's pink in colour, and it absorbs the oxygen and keeps the bacterium working in anaerobic conditions. And this bacterium is called rhizobium bacterium. As I said, it lives in the root nodules of the leguminous plants and it works in anaerobic conditions. And the way it works is by converting nitrogen gas into ammonium. And it does this because it contains an enzyme 
called nitrogenase or you might have heard of it as nitrogen reductase and this enzyme is also anaerobic and it catalyzes the reaction from nitrogen to ammonium and to do this it needs a lot of energy in the form of ATP and like I said before the plant and the bacteria are working in a mutualistic relationship so the plant here will provide the ATP for this reaction to occur. Now the next way that nitrogen fixation can occur is by aerobic bacteria that are found in the soil. I'm going to put them in the air because there's no space in the soil but they are found in the soil and they're called azotobacter and they work in an aerobic way but the problem is is that they also produce the nitrogenase enzyme which is needed to catalyse the nitrogen into ammonium and of course, if the bacteria are working aerobically, but the enzymes are working anaerobically, that's quite difficult to work. So what happens is the bacteria will respire aerobically and they'll use up all of the oxygen. And in doing so, they'll produce lots of ATP because, as I said before, a lot of ATP is required to convert nitrogen to ammonium. So then the enzyme will be left with anaerobic conditions because all the oxygen has been used up and it will also have a plentiful supply of ATP to use for the conversion of nitrogen to ammonium. So that's another way of nitrogen fixation to occur. And finally, the last way that nitrogen fixation can occur is by lightning. And this is when nitrogen in the air is converted to nitrogen oxide by lightning, which can then be transferred to nitrates in the soil. So this is by lightning. Um, and just to recap what you need to remember for this process, you need to remember that Decomposition or deamination is done by fungi or saprobiontic bacteria and it's an aerobic process with ammonium being the final product. And then nitrification occurs where ammonium is converted by nitrosominous bacteria through an oxidation reaction to nitrites and then these nitrites are converted via nitrobacter which is also an aerobic um, bacteria to nitrates and this is another oxidation reaction and then denitrification will occur where pseudomonas bacteria will use the nitrates as their respiratory substrate to convert them back to, to the nitrogen gas in the air and this is an anaerobic process because you don't need oxygen for this process and finally you need to remember nitrogen fixation and this can occur through lightning, through bacteria in the soil or through bacteria in the root nodules and bacteria in the soil and root nodules both produce the nitrogenase enzyme which converts, the, catalyzes the process of nitrogen in, in the air to ammonium. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and I will probably be putting a few more up before the actual exam but good luck.